Good morning. <laughs> it's Linda from Linda's Loft. Happy Thursday. Um, I just wanted to hop on here really quick. You know I've been doing my can art and this is transfers that I have on here. And I didn't have purple so I made up this color. So it's an original color. Um, I took a royal blue, some lavender, and some white. And I made it this pretty purple color because I wanted purple for these beautiful hydrangeas on there. So with the transfer, you just put them on and then rub it with a stick in between. Anyways, I'm gonna do a flower arrangement in here today. So what I did was I stuck a piece of foam in the middle. And I made this, I didn't smash it all the way on the bottom so it could stand up on your table. Okay, so I don't have to make a rope to hang it. Some of the bigger ones don't really wanna hang right, so I thought, I'll put it on the table. And then I went in the back room and I checked out all my, I have a wisteria. I'm not sure I'm gonna put it in. But when you're picking out flowers and a greenery for any bouquet or anything you're doing, I kind of look at the colors that are in here and try to go with that. And of course this has hydrangeas on there. So I picked one hydrangea. It might be too big, I don't know. But it's so pretty, it's almost like a really soft lavender color. And I think it would look really pretty in there. And then I love peonies. And this green color is kind of in the leaves. There's a purple one with a little bud on it. It's pretty. Here's a little miniature. Um, what are these? I just said it and I didn't remember it. And then I got some of these little purple star things. And then um, some of this stuff here. Gosh, my mind's going blank. I know what this is called. Um, I love this stuff. I, I had wreaths and stuff made out of it in the store or something. Anyway, and then I have some of these little tiny baby roses in the purple. And then I love this green stuff. This seems like a lot of stuff for this little tiny bouquet. It's not all going to go in there, just so you know. Hi, Victoria. Oh, I'm so glad you got to see, I got to see you too. <laughs> you were the highlight of your vacation for me. I'm so happy. Anyway, so um, I usually, this stuff I love. And it comes in a great big bush like thing. So where do my wire cutters go? So I cut this off here. I'm going to stick this one in on the side here. So we want to kind of have that droop over this way. And I'm going to cut the other one to put on the other side or in the back. This is so pretty. It's got a little bit of a sparkle to it. So that's the start of it. So you kind of want to build from the outside in. Let's see, I really want this one to be in there, so I'm going to stick this one in the middle. Does that look too high to you? I think it'll be fine because we'll fill it all in. Lamb's ear. That's what this is called, lamb's ear. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that in the front there. I'm gonna poke one of these little guys in over here so it doesn't look all green. There, can you see how that's kind of taking place there? You just kind of keep filling it in. So, I want to have more than one flower in here, so let's put this this way. Let's see. And this one I'm kind of putting in sideways, kind of left it at an angle. Can you see that? I think you can see the flower that good. 
Thank you, Pam. This way. Here we go. And then I'm going to take this little tiny wisteria have it kind of goop over here. Uh, I'm loving how this is turning out. It's going to be so pretty. Okay, I think we need, what do we need? Some more greenery over here. This is a thing with flower arranging. You can poke it in there, and if you don't like it, you just pull it out. Yeah, I needed that. There, isn't that pretty? I think it's done. And look at this. Wouldn't this be beautiful sitting on your kitchen table? I love it. Love, love, love it. All right, I think it's done. A little purple on the other side to even it out. See how I just stuck that in there. So if your colors are purple and green or you love purple, this is just a beautiful piece for summer. Anyways, I just wanted to hop on really quick and show you guys that. Um, the other thing that I've been working on is I'm obsessed with my swags. I call them swags, my garlands or whatever. And so the other day I had to run over to Walmart and I got some cherry fabric. So this is my latest one. It's not red, white, and blue. It's black and white gingham, red and white squares with the cherries. Isn't that adorable? It looks very country. Anyways, as you can see, I'm almost done. And I'll have this for sale in the shop when I get it done. So I just wanted to hop on. I haven't been on yet this week. And I just wanted to say hi to everybody. And remember to zoom on over to YouTube and watch my videos over there. I'm trying to build that up. And um, I made some firecrackers I decoupage. I don't love them, but I think they're going to turn out OK. But I'm going to show you the process on those. I have to finish them off. And I hope everyone has a blessed day. And thank you for tuning in, Miss Victoria. I love you. I'm so glad I got to see you. Um, it's funny when you connect with old friends. It's so you don't realize how much you miss them till you see them and start visiting with them. And we could have talked all day or into the night the next day, I'm sure. But anyways, I'm so glad to see you and have a wonderful, wonderful day. See you soon. Bye.